Hello and welcome to Jesse's Speechless. Today's video is going to be another skin combo video and today's going to be Carbide. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be an ever skin combo video and today's skin is going to be Carbide and this video was suggested by two of my viewers which was Zeldzy and Jam on Toast. Thank you very much to the both of you for the video suggestion. Zeldzy said can you do one for Carbide or the Agent next? Thanks. And Jam on Toast said can you do Carbide next? Both base and max level if possible. Thanks. Of course I can. The Carbide skin was introduced in Chapter 1 Season 4's Battle Pass part of the Carbide set. And as a base start, which you got for just unlocking the skin, stage 1 was for reaching season level 10, stage 2 was season level 20, stage 3 was season level 30, stage 4 was season level 40, and stage 5 was season level 65. And I'm pretty sure the yellow, green, and pink styles were for reaching season level 65 as well. So I had to make the one combo for the base and stage 1, and the rest, two, stage 2, 3, 4, and 5, all have two combos to make 10 combos in total and the first combo i'm using the style base with light to color blue the first back bling is the squire shield which is part of the fortnite set introduced in chapter one season two's battle pass it's very og back bling which is from the first ever battle pass works very nicely for the dark blue i really did use this i used to use this combo all the time with the skin and it just works very nicely in my opinion pickaxe is this pickaxe here which is item shop which is driver part of the teed off set introduced in chapter one season eight and i'm using the, it for the black and the blue the umbrella for all combos is a holographic, which is a victory royale umbrella from chapter 1, season 9. You can use any of the other umbrellas that are blue themed or just a glider in general that's blue or black themed or blue and black themed would work nicely. Contrail is this one right here from chapter 4, season 4's Battle Pass, which is a Wicked Wings, part of the Sonic Eclipse set. And this is a Kato Thorns Contrail, using it for the blue and the black. The first weapon wrap is this one right here, let's quickly load it, which is this one, blue metallic. Part of the Ice Kingdom set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7's Battle Pass. And this is the Ice King's weapon wrap, using it for the blue and the black. Let's move on to the next combo, which is the first combo and the only combo for the Stage 1 edit star, which is Stage 1, Light Color Yellow. Back Bling is the number 1, which is introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. I'm using the blue colour, this is the best one i found to use with this skin. Pickaxe is the Lunar Defender, part of the 7 set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4's Battle Pass. Edit style is the standard, which is just the Lunar Defender. Using it for the black and the blue. The weapon wrap for combo 2 is this one right here, which is the Slurpmatic, part of the Growling Grizz set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4's Battle Pass. Using it for the blue, yellow and black, since I used the actual light colour yellow with this skin, as you can see right here. The slurp matter goes very nice, the blue goes nice with it, the black goes nice and also the yellow goes nice with the light colour. Let's move on to the next skin combo, which is the first combo for the stage 1 star for carbide now. So it's stage, I should say, not stage 1, sorry, stage 2. And the light colour is green. Back bling is the winner's mark, which is part of the FNCS set in season chapter 3, season 1, using it for the dark blue. But the white, I guess, does work pretty nicely, but men use it for the blue. Pickaxe is electrostatic impactor, part of the syndicate scout set in shooting chapter 3 season 4's battle pass i'm just using a standard style which is electrostatic impact using it for the sort of impactor which is the for the black and the i guess the lightning effect as well the weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here which is the cursed energy flow part of the jiu-jitsu kaizen set in shooting chapter 4 season 3 and this is part of the jiu-jitsu kaizen event pass that was in in shooting chapter 4 season 3 it's part of the paid tier i think or the premium so obviously if you got the premium and got all the rewards done or claimed or managed to get all the challenges to get the rewards done to have this weapon wrap using it for the black and the blue let's move on to the next combo which is second combo for stage two as you can see right here oh that's the wrong skin you have stage two once again light color is green back bling is ninja's edge which is part of the ninja set in season chapter two season one using it for the black and the blue and i started using ninja's pickaxe as well which is a dual katana as part of the ninja set as well in chapter two season one using this for the black and the blue the weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here which is undercurrent part of the dive crew set in chapter two season three's back pad using it for the blue and black theme pretty cool looking animated weapon wrap in my opinion Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number five now. And for this one, we are now on to the stage three for the edit style. And then the light colour is pink. Back bling is a crimson crest, part of the order and the waning moon set. 
in chapter 3 season 1's battle pass. I'm using the Midnight Crest style for the blue. Pickaxe is the scratch mark, part of the Lynx set in chapter 1 season 7's battle pass. I'm using the default colour, but you can also use the blue. And if you don't have this pickaxe, you can always use the scratch mark shredder, which is from the Fortnite OG battle pass, and use the Dark Storm style. Would work nicely, but I'm using the standard with the default. And then the weapon after's combo is this one right here, which is an item shop, which is Silver Cloud. In Shooting Chapter 2, Season 7, use it for the blue and the silver. It's actually on the mask, you can see himself on the extra carbide, has silver, so it does work nicely. Now let's move on to the next combo, which is this one here. This is the second combo for the Stage 3. Once again, light colour is pink. Back bling is a River Guardian, part of the River Guard set. In Shooting Chapter 4, Season 2's Battle Pass, I'm using a standard style. For, which is River Guardian from the Dark Blue. Pickaxe is the Blade of the Waning Moon, part of the Order of the Waning Moon set. In Shooting Chapter 3, Season 1's Battle Pass. The edit star I'm using is the Blade of the Midnight Moon for the Black and the Blue. And the Weapon Raptors combo is this one right here, which is the Sweat 3, which was in Shooting Chapter 3, Season 3. And we got this wrap for free, I'm pretty sure, when it was a no sweat summer, I'm pretty sure we could either could get it for challenges or just got given it for free. But either way, I'm using it for the dark blue, and I guess the light blue does work nicely as well. Let's move on to the next combo, which is the first combo for the stage 4 edit star. And I'm using the light colour blue. And the light colour blue, I'm using it for the two combos for stage 4 and also for the stage 5. It's definitely my favourite light colour to use with this skin. Back playing for this combo is the emoti cape, which is part of the Boundless set in season chapter 2, season 4. And the emoti cape is one of the two back things that you get with, or you can buy with the customizer and superior skins, is this one, and also the hollow back. The actual design or primary colour is black, secondary colour is black. I haven't used a sticker, but you can use a sticker. If you do want to use a sticker, use anything dark blue or black themes would work nicely. Pickaxe is a Cybertronian axe, part of the Transformers set in Shooting Chapter 4, Season 3's Battle Pass. As you can see here, it has dark blue, no, dark black, dark black, it has black, light blue, and silver as well, which goes very nicely. Weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here which is the final Harbinger, part of the Omega Harbinger set. In season chapter Fortnite OG, season Fortnite OG, using it for the black, light blue and silver. Goes very nicely with the skin and also the Cybertronian axe. The weapon wrap, not the weapon wrap, sorry, the next combo. Let's move on to the next combo, which is the second combo for stage four. This one, once again, stage four base and then light colour is blue. Back blink is the Casadora Wings, part of the Dynamo Valadora set. In season chapter four, season three's back pass. And this is Mary Post's back bling. I'm using the back bling Midnight for the dark blue and the black pickaxe. I'm using this as a Leviathan axe, part of the Oathbreaker set in Shooting Chapter 2, Season 5. Just mainly using it basically for the blue of the actual top of the pickaxe, which gets out the frosty theme. I guess you can see when it gets out frozen, as you see right here. I'm using it for that. I just thought it goes very nicely with the combo I made, especially with the weapon wrap, which is this one right here, which is my favourite icy themed weapon wrap, which is Indigo Ice. In Houston Chapter 1, Season 7, goes very nicely with the blue on the skin, and this goes very nicely with the Leviathan Axe. Let's move on to the final stage now, which is Stage 5, and definitely my favourite, which is now Stage 5 style, and then a light colour is blue. Back bling is the Shattered Wing, part of the Broken Light set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 8, and this is Dream's Back Bling, use it for the light blue. Pickaxe is the Tragic Blade, which is part of the Kid the Roy set in Houston Chapter 4, Season 1, using it for the black and the blue. And this is a very nice icon series pickaxe. I'm pretty sure this is the Rogue Glories back bling slash pickaxe. But obviously for this combo, I'm only using it for the pickaxe. Weapon wrap for this combo. Oh, that's emo. Is this one here, which is polished stone. Which was in shooting chapter 3, season 3's back pass. Using it for the blue. There's a little bit of dark blue and light blue as well. Let's move on to the final carbide skin combos. For this one, I thought I would use an icon series back bling, which is the hurricane, which is part of the hurricane set. In season chapter 2, season 7. And this is Harry Kane's back bling. Use it for the dark blue and light blue. I really do like this back bling. I use this all the time with the carbide skin. Pickaxe is item shop, which is Vision. Part of the Ouroboros set. In season chapter 1, season 7. Use it for the black and the blue. And then the final weapon wrap is this one right here. Which is an item shop weapon wrap, which is Fractal Zero. Part of the Zero Point set. In season chapter 1, season X and this, I'm using this for the dark blue and the light blue and actually the effect of the zero point works very nicely for the hurricane back bling so that's all the skin combos done for the carbide skin thank you once again Zeldzy and Jam on Toast for the video suggestion I really did enjoy getting car getting combos done for the carbide skin I really do like the carbide skin and I find it's a very underrated battle pass skin from chapter one so obviously most people 
go to or gravitate towards the Omega skin, but I really do like this skin. Hopefully in the Fortnite OG Battle Pass, the new one we get this year, we get like a remix version of the skin, would be pretty cool. But either way, if you do have any other video suggestions you'd like to see, Fortnite related, for example, cosmetic, skin, background, pickaxe, glider, slash umbrella, contrail, or web wrap, or anything other Fortnite related, always feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'm always down to give something new a go. But anyways, that was pretty decent.